Now, the second thing that I mentioned is media disruption. Media disruption is really an interesting thing right now because, it, as I was mentioning, it really allows us to take the space and innovate in the space like never before. So let me get a little bit of what's going on right now in media. So in traditional model, you've got the content creators. Content creators are writers in the space, they're talent in the space who, who write programs, um, you know, someone who would gone out and wrote Friends, for example. Um, you know, they're producers, people who are finding some of the best scripts out there, taking them in, developing them. And um, basically what they do is they sell ideas for money. Now the networks, which are traditionally like NBC, ABC, anyone who's really taking this content and putting it out there on television, um, they, really had the, they really had the control over the dollars, they did the production, they really bought the ideas from the content creators, and they also had control over distribution. The reason for that is there was only so many channels, and sure, they could bring the content into those channels, and they could syndicate, but they really had the control over it, not the content creators. And then at the end, other end of the spectrum, you really have the consumers, in which, yes, you can consume this content, you can respond, sure, Nielsen's rating can kind of show how many people tune in, but that model was basically the model for the last so 50 or so years. Now what's happening in this space, I'm sorry, one other thing that you had is something called the upfronts. And this is where brands fit into this process. You had the networks who would get the content creators to develop something, they'd produce it, they would either be a success for the year and then show it in something called the upfronts. And this is an industry um, platform where people come together, look at shows, advertisers decide to buy upfront where their essentially spots are gonna sit. So this, this model's really, you know, like I said, been around for about 50 years. Now what's happening in this space because of uh, the internet and broadband is it's really broken up this model. You've got um, content creators who create and produce, and now you've got the networks who no longer control the money and no longer control distribution. Why is that? Because any YouTube person, any YouTube star can put some piece of content up, whether you're talking about Fred, and get upwards of 9 to 20 million views without having any network in the middle. Um, now you've got people like Blip.tv and Next New Network who can go and create content, develop content, be really successful, build an audience, and again, there's no network in the middle other than those content creators developing something specifically for the audience. So the, the network's not there any longer in digital. But you also now have the chance for brands to no longer work in this upfront model, but actually work really upfront, which is a true upfront, with the content creators. And by that I mean they can go in, they can find these content creators, they can find someone who's got a really great audience that matches their brands, and they can say, hey, you know what? I love your show, I love what you've done. Let's find how to integrate the brand and actually purchase some additional shows so that we can finance and get your show out there more. So suddenly, from a brand's perspective, we can go upstream in the process and co-develop with a content creator who already has an audience and really get that attention, really get that ability to earn someone's attention by A, financing this content creator who already has an audience and B, being really smart about partnering with that content developer where you don't annoy or interrupt the audience that they already have. And then uh, the other thing that brands really are in a now a place to do is be really in control of the distribution of that. In the past, we've really become, as, as agency and brands, sort of experts in distribution just through our own knowledge of um, banner advertisement. Banner advertisement essentially is networks across the web where you place banners. Suddenly, those banner ads can turn into a distribution pipeline for content. So that's one way. We sort of already trailblazed our way with the banner industry. We can now take that knowledge, take some partnerships with YouTube and some of the other um, distribution, video distribution outlets out there and really start to distribute straight for content creators where really, we can really control where we want to find that audience, how we seek them out, and uh, not, not again work with the network. And now what does this really mean for consumers? Well, not only, not only are they still consuming, but we have to make sure that the, they, we create it in a way that can, people can participate, but they're also distributors and, and developers of this content itself. So kind of the lines between consumers and content creators has even become blurred because eventually if a, con if a consumer goes and creates content, builds an audience, they're really just a content creator that a brand can partner with. 